This time of year, we kind of call it scratch fishing. Those are some dandies right there. Commercial fishing is more than a career for Brian Mackey. That's a big crab. It's like my hashtag, this water's in my blood. I just, I love it. One nice one. Even after 42 years. Nice big crab. Even in a Puget Sound winter. Some people think you're, you're crazy, but I love it. I just do, I can't help myself. The crab he and deckhand Cody Carson are catching near Lopez Island. Somebody picked that one. Are crucial to industry throughout the Pacific Northwest. And we're at 750 a pound right now. A nice big crab like this is worth 25 bucks. A Dungeness crab are an iconic species here. They are the single most valuable species fishery on the West Coast. That's why Washington Fish and Wildlife researchers are studying whether ocean acidification could threaten their growth. Scientists say that in the 200 years since the Industrial Revolution began, more carbon dioxide has been released up into the atmosphere. And they say that about 30% of that has been absorbed by the ocean. As carbon dioxide is absorbed, chemical processes change the pH level of the ocean, making it more acidic, and reduce the materials certain species need to build their skeletons and shells. Okay, this one's a little soft. Buyers don't want them because the shells don't got a lot of meat in them. So you toss them back and let them get hard. Corals are some of the most sensitive organisms to ocean acidification, and so they're really sort of the canary in the coal mine. They can give us this first look at how ocean acidification is going to change lots of different organisms. University of Washington researchers are comparing coral samples saved from a research cruise in the 1890s to the same species today. We can learn more about our role as humans in ocean acidification, but also better understand the pace of acidification. And so that can help us plan where are the places that are most likely to be refuges? Where can we put energy into sort of protecting places? A hopeful focus on the future drives their work. <laughs> and that of Washington Fish and Wildlife. Puget Sound shellfish manager Aaron Default says so far, the research does not show adult Dungeness crab in danger. Juveniles, however, seem to be pretty susceptible to ocean acidification. Default says this is concerning, but not yet a tipping point for changes at the fishery. It is something we are actively thinking about and needing to, to consider in the future. It's not something at this point in time that drives our management. For now, they say, their management remains focused on sex, size, and seasons. See how he's just big enough? It fits tight on there. That's just legal, that crab. Setting out rules about which crabs fishermen like Mackie can catch. But they'll keep monitoring the waters that form the identity of the Pacific Northwest. I think to a lot of the communities on the water, it's a huge part of, almost I guess you could say heritage for a lot of places. And the lifeblood of industries like this one. Near Lopez Island, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.